Okay, so we got a Nissan Pathfinder. I just put an alternator on this. I wanted to share this. This was a bigger job than we thought we was going to get into when we took it in. Uh, the guy actually brought the vehicle to the shop thinking the transmission was bad uh, because it was in limp mode and come to find out that the alternator wasn't charging, running the battery down, and it was just trying to power off the little voltages it had to start realizing we had other issues. So what I wanted to show you is the placement of this alternator. Now I was going to shoot a video on getting this alternator off there. Just going to show you how that, um, that we got this down out of there and got it replaced. So to start out with, we unhooked the battery cables before we ever started. And then when we came down underneath of the vehicle, we realized that this whole frame was gonna to have to drop down in order to get it out and out of there. Um, we had to take the air condition pump loose from the engine and we dropped it down and it did slide down in this little slot and gave us enough room to maneuver that alternator down out of there. On top, there's gonna to be the wiring harness that comes down. I'm gonna show you how that that wiring harness unclips up to the top, and then that way you can uh, unhook that and drop that alternator down enough to where you don't damage the wires, because if you try to drop the alternator down, even to get your hands up above it to unhook that wire and unplug that, you are going to damage the wires because it is so tight up in there you can't get your hands up in there along with the alternator. So the alternator has one bolt that goes straight through this direction and it sets behind this tensioner so you have to remove the tensioner. It has another bolt that you can see it comes to the back side right there. Now that's not too bad to get to. It looks like it is, but you can actually reach your hands up around behind there with a 13 millimeter wrench and you can break that loose and take it out of there and it's not as bad as it looks. This boat behind the tensioner has a nut on it. When you take the, the, uh, the nut off, the boat slides back through. Uh, when you first look at it, you will think that on the back side that there is a bolt that comes all the way through with a head on the other end, but it's not. It locks itself in on the other end. So all you have to do is take the nut off and then just push the bolt back through. So that wasn't too bad. The hardest part is just the placement. I mean, they put it in such a hard place to get up in there too. You just can't hardly see uh, getting that alternator down out of there. Now. Another thing that we did is we took the frame loose. We took this bolt out of the frame and then we went to the back and we unbolted this one and these two small bolts. And then we loosened the driver's side up and just dropped it down a, a couple of inches and then went from there. So that's the way that we did that we took everything off eighth passenger side. That's how we got all of that off. Of course, this is your tensioner and you can get your belt loose right here. You know, you just push your tensioner up and the belt will come off, that's no problem. There's two bolts held the tensioner on. You got one here and you have one on the top. Uh, it's a little bit tough to get to, but once you drop everything down, it makes it a little easier to get in there to it. So we did take all of these lines loose we had to take all of the, the bolts out of these lines and so that the lines would actually move around. We could get the alternator down in between there once we got to that point. So it was a tough job. I don't know how many hours they call for doing this job, but on your first one, you're gonna put several hours in trying to get that out and get it back up in there. I wish that I had a uh, had taken a video of the clip on the top of the alternator. You're going to have to look that up elsewhere. But the clip is real simple. It just doesn't seem like it when you're feeling around up in there and you can't move the alternator enough to see it. So, uh, but I am going to show you how to drop the wiring, take the wiring loose at the top, 
so that your alternator will drop down a little further. And let's go up top and look at that. Okay, so another thing that we did up on top is see these bolts here, nuts, one right down in there, one over here. We removed, we, we slid this unit back. We took this bolt out and uh, so that the engine would slide down just a little. And I tell you, it will be just a very little. And then we tuck out these three mount nuts right here. We tuck those three mount nuts out and and that way the engine would drop down just a little bit. But on this wiring, right down here, I can get a visual on it. Right here, this wiring clips in to this bracket. Take that loose so that that wiring will go down, will slide down with the alternator so that you can get it loose. Just make sure you take this wire loose from that bracket and that way it'll slide down and you can get that nut off without too much trouble. So guys, I hope this video helps you. Uh, we've already got our, we have already got our new alternator in place and I'm glad that it's in there. And uh, I hope this video helps you. And please subscribe to Code Man's Auto.